Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. Today we are starting our journey down in the city of Tampool again, where there's still an awful lot to do. We've got an oil train somewhere, we've got four of the damn things, uh, which are bringing oil down to Tampool from the other side of the map, and it's going to then be transported by truck up to the plastics factory, where it will then be turned into plastic, transported back by truck to the city centre and then we have a train taking it all the way over uh, to uh, hang on where are we going we're going all the way down here we're going to here <coughs> and the idea is that we'll make goods which can then be taken to Fairpont it can then be taken to Faircoom and back down to Tampool and if we did take goods to Tampool they'd tell us to sod off because they don't want goods okay yeah Tampool don't want them but We've had this for a few episodes now, this, this route installed, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. And I'd quite like to get to the bottom to why that is. So we're going to just potter along on this line. What are you? You're taking grain. Okay, well that's lovely of you, but you're not going to help us in this instance. We're going to potter along up the line and find out if there is a route cause. We're going to find our train first of all. We've got two machines on. That's not exactly what we call brilliant. What have you got on? 77 grain, okay. Just to see if there is an issue. What are you? Well, you're not going to be carrying oil, are you? You've got, uh, you've got too much on there. Of course, this is a very heavy duty freight line, isn't it? Oh, you're just adorable. You're too adorable to be carrying oil. You just carry on being adorable, you little adorable thing. Pottering up the line, what have we got here? You have got a singular container. There's a lot of our freight traffic that's not really making us a lot of money here, isn't there? What are you? You've got coal on. You've got a lot of coal on. You've got a lot of iron ore on. No oh, heck. There's a oh no, it's it's the colour of the wagon. I thought there's a gap in the wagon or the iron ore's gonna be spewing out all over the track. Right, so that's good. If those two are full, they're gonna generate quite a bit of cash, aren't they? Uh, pottering up the line. What are you? You've got some containers on. You're carrying food. Okay, well, you've got a reasonable amount on. You're racing a 180 as well. Very nice. You're a 156, I believe. Oh, yeah, because if you weren't aware, uh, since the last episode, I replaced those with more than 156s. There we go. They can fit in with everything else now. Got another Northern 156 there. Nobody diving under, no. Hang on, but where where do my trains go? Do they, where do the oil ones go? Do they go down there or do they go up there? I can't remember. Uh, hang on, it'll be Temple Oil Train, won't it? They go up here. Right, okay. I don't think they've quite managed to space themselves out yet. Oil Train! Ah, right, there's a Temple Oil Train. You've got two on with fuel. You're losing us five million. I reckon that we're going to find all of them bunched together here. Oh, hello. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for him. Oh dear. You're waiting for him. You're only just setting off. You're another Tampool oil train. The signals are not close together at all. Uh-oh. You're bringing the main line to a stand. Right, hang on. Ooh, this isn't good. There we go, we'll have you there. I don't really think there's a lot I can do other than that, because I don't really like having signals in the tunnel. Put a signal there. And, uh, yeah, that'll do. <coughs> do you know what? We're going uh, to go for a signal halfway down. And we'll go for a signal halfway down here as well, just to... Yeah, I hadn't taken into account the amount of traffic that was going to be coming through here, if I'm honest. And then I think it goes down here, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I've... Uh, oh, hang on. Yep, that's right. Get it going over here. Yeah, there's, those are some very long, uh, large signal blocks, aren't they? Right, so we've got a Grand Central 180 there. What are you? You're a Temple oil train. Right, okay. Are you the first one in the fleet? <clears throat> right, hang on. Where are you? So you're at the front. 
You're there, right, okay. You are much further along. Hell, you're, uh, you're nearly there. Right, okay. Where's 102? Oh, you're all the way back there. Right, okay, so this is the first one in the fleet. So when the autosaver's finished doing his thing, we're just gonna... Uh, we're just gonna whiz along and find out if he's gonna be picking oil up. Now, he has got 17 fuel on, even though we've not asked him to. So, you know, that's... Meaning that he's transporting something in the opposite direction. So he's gonna swing to the left here. There we go. We're going to need this on fast forward for quite a while. If you do get motion sickness, you might not enjoy this. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. So we're going to have him whizzing along. He'd be whizzing if I hadn't set the speed limit to 50 mile an hour, wouldn't he? He'd be going even faster. But never mind. Nice to see a stone train going in the opposite direction. Absolutely chocker. You see, it is nice when you can see that your, uh, your freight is... Ooh, look! New buses, Huddersfield, Huddersfield even, uh, Huddersfield Bus Company, Eclipse Urban 2, Eclipse Urban 2, Eclipse Urban 2, 91s, 66s, Ooh, oh hang on, your menu's gone, uh, there we go, keep going, keep going, hopefully we'll get a full load, though I don't imagine we will, you know I just have a little hunch that this won't be fully loaded, I kind of imagine this will be more a means to an end rather than anything else. I just don't imagine it's going to be able to produce the amount we're going to need it to produce. Why are you stopping there? Ah, I see. You're going to try and take the shortest route, aren't you? Right. Right, hang on. Hang on. Let's just have a look at the orders. Temple West. And we'll have this signal in. <sighs> That's better, isn't it? Oh, you've got little... Uh, oh, you're building materials, aren't you? I'm going to say you've got little oil trucks. 158 Northern there. Oh, he's struggling up the hill, isn't he? Ah, okay, he's following something else. We'll let him off then. <laughs> We've still got the Class 20. He's still going. You're not meant to be taking goods the other way, sir. Mm, okay, fair dues. It's got food on there. I do like the Class 60, though, it has to be said. I am a lover of the Class 60. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It might not be such a good diesel locomotive for the, the length of run that this is. You know, I mean, it's, it's all the way across the map, isn't it? Perhaps... A class 66 would be better because it can go faster. Do you know what? We might uh, we might just do that. I'm sorry on you uh, class 60 lovers. I know, I know, but you've, you've got to see sense here. The, the class 66 can do an extra 15 miles an hour and over such a long distance. That is, you know, that is a deal breaker. 66. La Foage, no, not that one, just going right to the top. There's so many variants of 66s. Let's have it with Island Stag logos. One, two, three. One, two, one. And then we're going to hold shift, catapult them down to the end of the consist. Yeah, lovely. There we go, so if I go to the top, you should all have locos on the front, yes? Yeah, 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 right, okay, there we go. 11 million on the line that's not making us money. That's actually doing its fair bit to hemorrhage money. Oh, Temple Oil Train, wow! There's a lot waiting, admittedly, there's a lot of fuel. I don't really want to take fuel, if I'm honest, though it will make money, and if it fills the trains up... Excuse me. If it fills the trains up, then I'm all for it. Right, there we go. Let's get loaded. Oh, well, it made 5 million just transporting 17 blobs of fuel. Why are you transporting fuel up here to then transport a load of fuel back? I don't, I don't understand the logistics logic in this game sometimes. 
No, hang on. You're not filling with oil fast enough. You're filling with fuel too fast. Right, well, you're, you're not taking a spectacular amount of oil there. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's not sit in there because we want to be able to actually see what's going on. Right, fast forward. Because this has got a fair old journey to go on here. And I mean, the episodes are normally only half an hour long, so if we sit there having him in real time, I do fear that we'll never get there. Of course, there is an update due for Transport Fever soon, and I'm wondering how that's going to uh, how that's going to change the gameplay. It's a very exciting update, isn't it? Because uh, there's all sorts of new features. Shame we can't go down there. Why, why can't we go up here? Ah, because, yeah, because of, because of that. Heck. Hang on, I thought I told you. Oh, yeah, you won't have got the message in time, will you? There we go. Oh, he's full. He's going the other way full, look. Of course he is. There's a hell of a lot waiting. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, there's a there's a big backlog of things we do. That you see, the problem is, is when you get to this stage in the game, there's just too much map to keep an eye on, and not enough Joe to keep an eye on it. You know what I mean? It's a real bother. Right, there we go. Coffee is drunk, so we're firing on all cylinders now. Oh, come on, beat this. Yay, there we go. Freightliner man seething. Yeah, we could maybe do with upgrading this, because... Uh, did you see, I didn't actually realise, even though I did put this traffic in, because nobody else has been playing it other than me. There's a hell of a lot of traffic over this route that was not really meant to have much traffic on, was there? I guess it stops it all from going down the main line. This is all the freight main line. We've not got any passenger traffic over here, have we? We could do, actually. We could put some passenger traffic in, but then it does start to get to the point where it's a bit busy. Look at that, we're, we're racing the first bus. The first bus is absolutely wiping the floor with us. No, he's not. We're catching him. We're catching him. Oh, he's, he's peeling off from us, isn't he, now? Oh, well, that was a good race. Wow, we're actually up at 70. You see, this wouldn't have happened. Look how impressive that is at the station. See, in real life, that would be severely impressive. Oh, 155 going the other way. Hello? That would be severely impressive simply and, uh, well, simply because there's a hell of a lot of train there, isn't there? Um, but I have, uh, where was I now? I was down on the Great Eastern somewhere. Uh, I'm going to say Manning Tree, I think it was at. And a Class 70 came thundering through. And it must have been doing 75 mile an hour, because as far as I'm aware, freight can't do more than 75 mile an hour in this country, i.e. the UK. Um, yeah, freight can't do more, as far as I'm aware. Oh look, the oil's waiting for uh, Little Bridge crude oil. Yeah, there's a lot waiting for you there. 300 and, well, we could maybe do with another train on there. Hang on, Puddle Bridge. Oh, you're, um, yeah, you're taking over to, to there. Right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get another train. He's busy. It's very busy, isn't it? Right, there we go. Yeah, that's of course taking oil up to where we've just got this from. <coughs> so obviously there's a high demand still, and then we'll be producing more. Right, oh, we appear to be back in real time. There we go. I'm just going to pause the day, because there's, uh, you know, while we're here, there's a lot of new stuff coming out, and I don't want to miss too much. Right, 
that's all branching off up here because we're not going to Pensto by C, we're on the Pensto avoiding line. I mean, this, this line around Pensto, I am really proud of this. I mean, look at that, that's brilliant, isn't it? And of course, we completely avoid it up there. Fantastic. Joining back in there. No passenger services to disrupt us. We're going all the heck. I've not actually realised until I've watched this back how long this flipping line is. This is ridiculous. This is the section where we upset the Grand Centrals, isn't it? What are you down there? Oh, you're a Namath stone train. Right, okay. Look at that. I mean, if you were on a passenger train, this is our answer. I mean, I'm not too keen on that massive gap in the middle. But that is our answer to Ribble and Viaduct, isn't it, really? Carrying on now, we're about to go through uh, through Chapel Coombe. That's going to look good going over the the, uh, the viaduct. Problem is, it's because we're in uh, modern society now. I'm kind of running out of trains to put on the screenshot because the last couple of screenshots, way there we go, flying over. Uh, the last couple of screenshots have been class 66 on the thumbnail, haven't they? You know, and I'm I'm worrying that I'm starting to use a lot of the same. Ooh, class 66. Oh, class 66. Oh look, another class 66, but a lot of the, uh, since the passenger services have been more or less completed, our focus really is freight. Really is freight, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. I mean, this is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. I'd love this to be a real place. You could never tire of that view, could you, really, if you were on a passenger train. Probably a 158, but there's Grand Central. Yeah, 158, that's the sort of train that runs up and down here. Ironically, we have none of them. There we go, the uh, the corner that disrupts. Oh, someone's built a block of flats on my railway again. Will you just... Sod off, please, with your block of flats. I mean, that's a good flat if you like train spotting, isn't it? Oh, you'd never get tired of that. Any of them, really. Look at that. If, if, I mean, if you didn't like trains, you probably would get tired of the consistent noise. Constant noise, not consistent. There we go. Right, up you go. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of oil on board. Takes a while to get up to speed. 66 coming the other way. Oh, no, he's a 60. There's a hell of a lot, isn't there? Of course, we have the uh, the dive under coming up. Oh, there's a lot of uh, lot of stone on that, and of course he can do 100 mile an hour, can't he? Which again, coming back to my oh, freight can only do 75. Uh, this is a fictional world, of course, where freight can do however fast you blithering want it to do. Oh, there's a oh, I mean that'd have been a screenshot. That Grand Central would have been a little bit further in front. Oh, hang on, we're catching up here. We're catching things up. There's a backlog, there's a backlog! Oh, Grand Central. They're all running frightfully close together, aren't they? Oh dear, what's happened here then? <clears throat> ah, so a Northern's come to a stand in the station. Right, okay. Luckily, there's no passenger services behind us, is there? Do you imagine you could have a real backlog of traffic there? I do love the transport fever signals. <laughs> Displaying a yellow when it's quite clearly not. Oh. Where are we now? Oh, right, we are actually here, so we've got, you know, we're the next service through. See, this would be better if it was more like transport, open TTD even, so like he was blocking this line, I mean the 156 wasn't, but 
If he was blocking this line, our train could use its initiative to overtake on this line. You know, that would be better. And I think that's the sort of thing that we can expect in the recent, or the new update, sorry. Yep. Yeah, I think we can expect that in the new update. That if their line is blocked, if there's another reasonable route they can take, they will. I mean, the 150 would have been absolutely spitting feathers, wouldn't it? Because uh, obviously he can go a lot faster than us, given the fact that he's left us for dead. I mean, where is he? There. So if we had gone round him, he'd have been absolutely kicking off, wouldn't he? Another iron ore train. Oh, there's quite a lot of traffic down here, isn't there? This is brilliant. And another. And another. And another. I mean, it's a fantastic map, isn't it? It really is a fantastic map. We've done so well. Um, I know that a lot of you have been asking, oh, Joe, when will you get round to publishing a mod list of this series? And the answer is, probably. <laughs> I know, I know, I keep meaning to do it, but coupled with work and YouTube and trying to keep up with everything, it's just very difficult. Very, very rarely get a little bit of time to myself. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do it at some stage, I promise. Probably when the series is over, if I'm not, if I'm being completely honest. I'll probably publish the save game with uh, with a mod list. Well, I mean, to be honest, I'll probably just publish the save game and then it'll tell you what you need uh, in order to do the save game. Oh, we're stopped again. This is going to kindle absolutely at zero pounds and zero pence into our fund, isn't it? Because it's taken that long to get here. Oh, I didn't realise we had a bit of loan. Well, we'll just pay that off while we're waiting. There's probably a quicker way of doing this if I hold shift. Oh, hang on. If I hold shift, you can borrow five million. Never knew that. Wow. Oh, every day's a school day. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Brilliant. Right, so we're nearly there. I mean, this whole episode has been literally following this train. But it's a lengthy route, isn't it? Oh, there goes someone else. Under the dive under. It's a good job, because there's quite a bit of freight traffic down here, isn't there? We wouldn't want to disrupt the, uh, the 142s too much. And Virgin Voyager going sailing past there. Absolutely sailing past. There we go. Quite a quite a bit of traffic into here. Oh, look at him go. Where's he going? Oh, he's going straight in. I mean, there's, <laughs> he's delivering. Oh, I don't understand. He's delivering 260 fuel and he's going to take 200 fuel back. Why didn't they just leave the fuel at each end? I mean, I shouldn't really be complaining, because at the end of the day, this is going to make me money by him doing that. But still, it just seems a bit ridiculous. Oh, dear me. Just makes you want to bang your head against a wall, doesn't it? Right, so you're loading there. Wow, he's made us 82 million. I mean, I'm not going to turn around and, and say no to that. So, the oil is over here. Where is the oil? The oil is here. Not on you. Oh, you're the plastic production truck. Right. So you're... You've got oil on board! He's got oil on board, everybody! He has oil. Right, let's, uh, let's follow him. Did those things on top of the truck come off when he was loaded? Did the, did the little covers on top if so, I didn't know that. Oh my god, as if I'd never noticed that that was a feature on these tankers. That's brilliant. Right, we're off. We're on a tank. So, of course, this means that we are actually producing some plastic. Oh, the corner, through the dark city streets. Oh, hang on, that way. 
taking some funny routes here, aren't they? It'd be nice if, like on City Skylines, you could specify like streets that are banned, that heavy traffic's banned from. Hell, there's a good bit of traffic coming the other way, and look at that. Yeah, it'd be nice if that you could specify that these are like there's no trucks to be had on this road, because you wouldn't get trucks coming down here, would you? They'd go all the way here and on the main road. Or maybe they wouldn't. What do I know? Come on. Come on. Oh, we're nearly there. We're going to be producing some plastic. Do you know what? I, I bet there's two fuels to one plastic. No, there's not. There's one oil to one plastic. So we're going to make 40 plastic as a result of this. And we're absolutely not going to fill our train at all. Are we going back? Oh, well, at some point in the near future... Near future? That might be a tad optimistic. Wow, look at that. Have you got oil fuel on them as well? Oil? No. There was only 40 oil on board, wasn't there? And we've taken it off. But look, there's plastic. There's absolutely plastic. Hang on. Plastic production. Are you going to get a container on the back? I don't know, actually. You look a bit like a flatbed wagon. Oh, I hope you get a container. Or I hope that those, that like little... Way, look at that, that's brilliant. I mean, I don't know why this is building material. This isn't... There should be just Lego bricks in the back. If I had my way, it'd be Lego bricks. Right, off we go. Oh, look at that. I mean, that is brilliant, isn't it? I'm so pleased that it's working. It just took a little while to get the uh, the chain flowing. There's another one there coming the other way, look. There we go. Way. And another. So he's going to go back through Temple. We could do with something... I mean, this is a bit of a convoluted route. Perhaps we could... Does anything run around there? I mean, the, the city streets of Temple are quite congested, aren't they? No, hang on. We're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna do things to make Temple better. You're gonna be deleted. So the lorry's gonna go around there. You're then gonna Yeah, hang on, yo, you you put that road back in. We're just gonna pause for a second. Because as quick as I'm deleting the roads, they're putting the roads back in. And that is very annoying. Right, there we go. So you're going to be level for me. You are. How very kind of you. We could really do with a road bridge mod, couldn't we? Because these, as, as lovely as these all are, they are very clearly rail bridges. That'll do. It's never been a road bridge in all its life, but it'll do. It'll do. Too much slope. I beg to differ, sire. There we go. I mean, that looks a bit funny at the end, because obviously it would never be going... Uh, it would never be that sloped in real life on a railway, would it? There we go, look at that. Now, our glorious lorries can just go straight over the top. As can a lot of the traffic, actually. Where is our plastic lorry? Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Oh, he's stuck in traffic, look. Is he going to turn around or is he going to persevere with that route? Oh, he's turning round. He's absolutely turning round. Look at him go. He's found a better route. Oh, there is a lot of traffic here, isn't there? Oh, there's a lot of traffic. What are you? No, oh, you are the lead plastic producer now. You've got uh, you've got goods in the back. Oh right, so it's just random as to what they uh, what they're loading about. That's good, because at least it looks different. Brings a bit of variety to the map, doesn't it? We could perhaps do with upgrading the streets here. They're very busy, aren't they? Oh, 
Oh, we have plastic. We have plastic. Right, well, there we go. That is where we're going to wrap things up for today. We've been absolutely sod all, apart from the fact uh, that we changed some locos at some point. But I do hope that you enjoyed the episode nevertheless. We have had an actual breakthrough, despite the fact that we've not done much. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. We have established that the Fairpont plastic train is working. I mean, you're going to Fairpont West, right? Okay. Uh, what are you doing? You're going to Fairpont West. Why are you both going to Fairpont West? Because they've not spaced themselves out yet. But yeah, we have established that the plastic train is working. We are creating plastic, albeit rather slowly. Which is fantastic, because that means we're going to start being able to take goods to some of the neighbouring cities. Albeit not very much. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do click that like button. It helps the video do better and it makes for a really happy Joe. And of course, oh, there's just been a collision there. Uh, of course, if you have uh, been enjoying a few of these videos, or if you've just enjoyed this one and you've not watched any of the rest, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell as well, so you never miss out on any future Piddlemouth Coast episodes. We're kind of running out of things to do here. I mean, we're... we're pretty much on to just linking up the freight now, making sure that everything is catered for in the freight section of the the, uh, the world. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, I'm, I am brainstorming what will be next on, uh, on our series for Transport Fever 2, because of course we need to have it in the back of our mind that one day we'll need to start a new series. Ah, oh, but uh, yeah, do just keep uh, do let me know in the comments, you know, give me some ideas, you know, so let's brainstorm here. Excuse me. Flippy neck. Right, yes, thanks all so much for watching, as I say, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now. <laughs>